everyone just wanted to give an update as to what's been going on since I've been gone and what's going on now and outlooks for the future because since uh, the last time I posted uh, I've gotten married Pat and I were married um, we had like a huge wedding celebration out in the woods in Connecticut and full of crystal grids and magic and uh, gold bangles and fairy dust and all of that good stuff. Uh, we Then we ran away to Japan for almost a month for three weeks for our honeymoon. We marched in the Women's March. We became partners with Fireseed Arts here in Framingham. Took over the back space and are collaborating with Fatinho in the front space and we oh and I just and I also finished uh, my second 200 hour yoga teacher training I was assisting the one voice training here locally uh, in the eastern part of Massachusetts this time uh, so that was big that was a huge accomplishment currently we're back in Framingham uh, just keeping the ball rolling producing new work keeping Fireseed running uh, and running our figure drawing meetups which we postponed while we were away in Japan um, but those are back up and running and last, last week we had 11 people show up uh, to draw with us which was really exciting um, we're running them twice a week now so cool for me like personally I would love to be running them every Tuesday right now we're doing them every first and third Tuesday uh, just because it's I, I'm confident it's just it takes time for uh, consistency for people to show up so that's been rolling and our models have been amazing um, really lucky with that uh, other than that just been really painting as much as possible uh, trying to fill in some of the weaker parts of my portfolio that I see um, I know that I want to draw more men uh, more people interacting with one another. I don't have many paintings with more than one person in them. Uh, also people interacting with their environments or like showing depth. Uh, so um, I, those are going to be my focuses uh, for the next few illustrations that I do. Just to run it out, just to prove that I can and prove to myself that I can do it. So it'll be kind of fun to scope out all my guy friends for models and uh, just it's really different than painting women, uh, like the one that is uh, shown painting painted here. It's my Patrick, both well, my cousin now, Maya, and I was just like, oh, I have to definitely paint this girl. I was actually asked her to model for a different uh, piece that I got commissioned to do uh, for a poster for a prenatal yoga class, and I asked her to come model, and then I ended up getting some really beautiful headshots of her, and I thought, you know, I don't really have any portraits in my portfolio. That was one of my other weak points, and I just really didn't feel that confident drawing people's likenesses or anything like that, and it just felt like I f have felt really weak in that section of my drawing skill for too long so that's what I've been working on in these last couple pieces just trying to get the faces really down to have them feel human and not just uh, made up or good enough like have them feel real so with this piece with Amaya and then the next piece that I made of my sister I feel I'm feeling a lot more confident with that um, so it'll be interesting to try to paint some guys in that manner because they have very different facial features and facial hair and all sorts of fun stuff. Yeah, and I just have, I have lots of paintings, plenty of paintings of uh, scenery, like far distant scenery. I feel pretty confident with that, like nothing to sh like nothing to brag about that could like go in my portfolio alone. But definitely, I've just that's just something that I've always loved to do. Uh, but not that much stuff where the main character, the protagonist of my paintings are interacting with the environment and I think that is something that I haven't avoided on purpose but also haven't taken on fully so I'm excited to start doing that. With this piece here I really wanted to tie what was going on 
into what's important to me around here specifically in Massachusetts so I included uh, a hairy honeysuckle plant and print in the background that's endangered as well as a precious underwing moth uh, also endangered here in Massachusetts, not in the rest of the country, but just here specifically due to environmental um, issues of deforestation and the habitats being destroyed uh, for humans to turn into suburb suburbs and roads and whatnot. So I just think it's really important to conserve the plants that we do have going on here, preserve the at least the wild biodiversity. It's hard enough to get it on farm so the least we could do is keep things alive around us now. Um, so I just wanted to make it a little bit more relevant instead of it just being random uh, random plants happening. And I don't know, I just had fun with this piece uh, and I used colored pencil instead of ink for the line work which was different. I was really happy. I liked the way it felt uh, and I don't like the way it scanned because uh, it it turned waxy. I don't know, I might have just pressed too hard for the, with the colored pencils and so it became a reflective surface for this, my scanner bed. And I have a nice scanner so um, that I bought with my children's book <laughs> money from last year. So I know that it's just, I don't know, my technique or maybe colored pencils just really don't belong on watercolor paper. I'm not sure. It was interesting to play around with something different though for once um, because I've been really strict about ink and watercolor only using those. They're not strict, just that's just feels comfortable, so I'm trying to expand a little bit what I'm able to do, what I'm capable of doing, and just see what, you know, worst case scenario, it comes out terrible, and then I just move on to the next thing, which is what I was going to do anyway. So, um, that was kind of a learning experience. I played around with it again in the second piece, the next piece that I made. Um, just so that they would look kind of consistent with one another and kind of go together in a series. And uh, we'll see. I'm going to keep keep playing around with new materials and see where it takes me. Uh, so yeah, that's what the rest of the summer. Uh, leaving for to teach yoga at Knights of Fire, Conscious of Revolution, uh, up in upstate New York. Spun Out Fires production, um, that should be super awesome. We're going to get lots of painting and fire spinning done out there. And besides that, for the rest of the summer, I'm just straight up painting and preparing for a ton of workshops and classes that I'm running in autumn. And I'm really excited for those, but until then, I want to get a ton of work done, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.